you know, here nor there. But uh, I finished The Sopranos last night. Mm. I was anticipating the end. Like, have you ever gotten to the end of a show? Or I, I know we've all talked about this. I know we have. Where like you get bummed out knowing it's coming to an end. Like the way Kyle described that scene, the end one, where you're like, oh, and then it's just kind of a carousel, revolving door of people coming in, sitting down, like laughing, doing whatever they're doing. And as that was happening, I was having like that feeling of like, oh, no. Oh, this is really it, isn't it? This is the end of the fucking show. Shit. And I was expecting the mid-sentence cutout thing to be at least a little more obvious than that instead of him just kind of hearing a ring and then just not even looking up all the way, just like getting to here and then ends. And so, the, the correct me, most people understand or not understand, assume like, okay, the end there was him right about to get assassinated. Yep. That's oh, the understanding. My understanding is he got assassinated, that he didn't register the bullet or anything, but we see his brain turn off. That, that's how I interpreted the last yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah. And, but is there any, um, I guess, like fan theories of other things that might have happened? Fan like, theories don't mar matter. David Chase has spoken on the matter. Oh, okay. Well, never and, mind. Is that then. it? It's dead. What yeah, that's said. it. He's dead. Yeah. They, um, I don't know. I didn't put it together until other people like pointed it out to me. Killed AJ. There's a scene on a maybe a boat with Bobby Bacliata or something close to that, where yep. where um, Tony was describing how it happens, and he's like, "It just goes to black or something." Maybe Kyle, you can do it better than I can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you pretty much got it. He's like, "Bet you don't even feel it, huh?" Yeah, it's just everything goes black. It's over. Yeah, and they're, they're having that discussion because Bobby had never killed anybody. And then, of course, Tony uses that information to his advantage the next day when he sends Bobby to have to go assassinate that guy, that uh, that, that Frenchman, that, that French Canadian fella, because he mm -hmm. knew that was his the best way to hurt Bobby. Yeah, and poor Bobby. I Why felt was bad he hurting for him Bobby that. again? Because Bobby, Cause Bobby beat him up. Oh, Bobby beat the shit out of him when they were playing uh, Monopoly or whatever, and uh, Tony was saying that Janice was blowing all the guys under a. Under the, the boardwalk, under the Jan boardwalk. with Janice blowing some guy. <laughs> <laughs> Janice is Bobby's with wife. With this slung in Jan's right? mouth yeah. under the boardwalk. Yeah. And then Bobby beats the absolute shit out of him. And then you feel bad for Bobby when he was killing that guy. Because you could tell, like, like the way, like, Polly kills someone is so blasé and who cares that he'll, like, cap somebody and then just be like, and this motherfucker bled on my brand new shoes. <laughs> brand new. And he'll like be mad about it. And like Bobby shot that guy. And what I thought maybe one of you disagrees is when he walked up to the guy to like put it to his forehead and then shoot him there. It was almost like Bobby taking this way more seriously than the rest of them. Like if I'm oh, going to yeah. take life, I need to, I need to take it. I need to He'd know. He'd never like, killed I'm anyone before. Yeah. And so he takes it with a lot more, you know, solemnity or whatever the word would be than the other guys who just don't really give a shit, just fucking murder and willy nilly. I was the biggest surprises in that show were Chris dying. I mm -hmm. did not expect Chris to die. I, I would have bet like I liked Bobby so much that I knew he was going to die. at some Seemed point. like an untouchable Chris, character. Yeah. I was like, there's, it was almost like a sunk cost thing where I was like, Tony has spent so much time molding this guy and oh the, my mold fell apart again well let me put it back together let me build it up it's a little better this time oh it fell apart again well i put build it up again a little better this time and so that that caught me right out of right out of left field i did not expect him to murder chris right there yep. so that was a really intense scene what else did i know i didn't expect sill to get shot up like that so unceremoniously right at the end because it was almost like sill paulie and tony were kind of quasi untouchables where it's like all right that's him and then that's uh uh his concierge. little shield underneath him yeah uh consigliere or whatever it is uh, close to that yeah yeah and yeah such a fantastic show in a year or so i'm gonna rewatch that whole thing and probably pick up on more things uh if there was a version of that show with every scene with aj outside of season one where he's a funny fat kid cut out it'd be a better show i did not oh something else that i I kind of liked, kind of didn't like about the finale of The Sopranos was usually when you're watching a finale of a, a show, it's kind of understood within the context of the show that they're wrapping up, you know, where it's like, all right, we're, we're closing this, we're closing that, put a pin on this, done, 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 wrapped up. 
in this, it was like, I know it's the final episode, but Tony's going around. Everybody's going around as if it's just another day, making plans for they things that won. you know. Things turned yeah. around and were going well, right? Tony came out of hiding, mm -hmm. if I recall. They, they uh, Someone killed uh, that guy with absolutely no forehead whatsoever. Um, and with the, the gray hair that starts like right at his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys was like, oh, we might win this. Like, we're going to win this, that kind of positivity. But I, I kind of liked it, kind of didn't like it of him, like, having the conversations with, with his, his son and like setting up for plans they're going to do in the future. And, Oh, we're going to do this business. Sil, you need to be on this. Uh, Paulie, you need to do that. And I don't know. It felt more realistic in a silly way where it was like, obviously a guy that he doesn't know he's going to die. He wouldn't yeah. be putting a pin and everything like it. It I made it sadder it. knowing it was going to end. And he's just, this what? Oh, this is just Tuesday. This is just Tuesday. I'm just doing Tuesday things. Some people put it as a bad ending because they didn't, you know, tie a bow on all the little. Mm -hmm. To me, it was a great ending. You know, I don't want every show to just not end well, but for a mobster show where the main character presumably gets shot like that, like perfect, nailed it. Yeah, I think yeah. It, I, I see now why people, th a lot of people, think that's the best show of all time. 